Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to my first ever Red Power 2 tutorial. And today I'm going to demonstrate a automated milk factory. A massive milking machine right here. Which actually is running a lot more efficient than I had anticipated. So it's actually doing pretty cool. So, to start off with... Three hundred thousand micro buckets. Okay, so to start off with, let's go over a list of what is going to be needed for this project. We're going to need two filters, one deployer, a liquid transposer, which is actually not coming from the Red Power Two um, mod. It's actually from, let me see, the thermal expansion. Uh, it's not necessarily required to milk the cows but if you want to have the milk automatically removed from the buckets and put into tanks you're gonna need the liquid transposer um, one chest one timer some pneumatic tubes and some red alloy wire also you're gonna need two empty buckets one bucket of milk some some device with which to put the liquid into. Um, not sure where these tanks are from. In this demonstration, I have a tank from Railcraft. It's actually a very nice tank. Holds this one holds two million micro buckets. A uh, micro bucket is a thousand to one bucket. So, micro bucket. Um, a gold conductive pipe. I'm not sure which mod. I believe it's build craft or maybe industrial craft. You're also going to need a cow. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I've got a cow egg. But in uh, survival, you're going to have to hunt down a cow yourself. A uh, pressure plate is not necessary, but I like to have one for the cow to stand on. And some unit to contain the cow. I like the glass cage. You're also going to need a power source for the liquid transposer. It uses MJs or Minecraft jewels. You're going to need a lever for the engine and a fuel source. Um, they actually run off of lava cells so you can also use that. So next let's set up our cow cage first. Let's head over here a little ways away from the other one. I need a pressure plate, de deployer, glass. Let's grab our filter, our timer, and our wires. So that's what we're going to start with. We place down a deployer, and it's clearly facing the wrong way. So you're also going to need a screwdriver. Put down a pressure plate. Build a cage for the cow, like that. Um, let's put a pneumatic tube on top, like that. That will contain our cow. So let's go ahead and bring out our cow. And we have one cow. Hello, Betsy. How you doing? Okay, next we need a filter. And let's turn that so that it is facing that way, with the, the small hole facing away from the deployer. We also need to have some pneumatic tubes coming out of it. Now, in the deployer, we want to put an empty bucket. The deployer is a machine that acts like a right click. So, let me grab another bucket here. If I were to right click on the cow, it would fill with milk. The bucket would fill with milk. So that's what the deployer simulates, is a right click event. And what we're going to put in the filter is an empty, or um, a milk bucket. So, every time this filter receives a redstone pulse, it will take only empty buckets out of, or excuse me, only milk buckets 
out of the deployer. It will never take empty buckets out of the deployer. So that's why we use the filter. Um, next, let's set up a redstone signal with a timer. And we will simulate that. And I believe it should take two pulses to get our milk bucket. Where did it go? No one in there? No. I think the reason that it is not working is because it needs somewhere to go. So the next thing let's do, let's set up our liquid transposer. Actually, let's... I don't need the deployer anymore, I just need the liquid transposer. So we'll put down a liquid transposer, and there we go. We've got our bucket. And that goes in here. So, we, next we need to configure the liquid transposer. And you do that from here. What we need to do is have... We need to switch the liquid transposer to remove this is the setting to remove liquid from the bucket. Um, we want the remove liquid to go out the top. And so we want a blue side on the back. Um, oh wait, we want red on top. Okay, red, it's going to put the empty bucket down here once it's done. It's going to remove the milk move the empty bucket down here and the red slot needs to go on top. We're going to pull the red, red the empty bucket out and send it back and then we need yellow on that side. This is where the milk is going to come out. So once we've got that configured we put a chest on top of that and our other filter which we want to face like that. You can see the, the large hole is on that end and the little hole is up here. So we put and bring the pipes over this way. Now we also need to be able to get the redstone signal up to the filter. And I displaced our empty bucket. So we need to put an empty bucket in here. So the filter is only going to pull empty buckets out. The liquid transposer is going to put the empty bucket into the chest, which I can't open because there's an object above it. And the filter is going to pull empty buckets out and send them back to our deployer. That's how it should work. So the next thing we need to do is the liquid transposer requires MJs or Minecraft jewels to operate. So we need to feed it some source of power. And I've brought along a little Sterling engine to do that. Okay, there is the engine. And let's go ahead and flip the lever and put lava cells in it. So that should be providing power to the liquid transposer and that's our bucket of milk okay to get the bucket of milk out of the chest we need to provide it with a redstone signal which I'm going to bring up here um, I could probably use redstone piping to do this but as of yet, I have not figured out how to make those pipes work. So, for the moment, I will just do this. And there goes our two buckets. Back into the deployer. They fill with milk. They get sent by the filter into the transposer. 
and back around. Okay, the next thing we need to do is set up a storage vessel for the milk to go into. And I generally prefer the iron tanks, but these will work just as well. Uh, they're a little more difficult to work with. The large iron tanks actually allow you to come up with walk by with a bucket and just right click on the thing and f right click on the tank and fill it up um, the liquid transposer from the thermal expansion set allows you oh I need to go come out one more oh, let's go this way what it does is it actually puts the milk into the pipe so that you don't need to use a why is it not connecting that should be connecting <laughs> oh that's why it's not it says conductive pipe I got the wrong pipe guys that's why um, Okay, that's conductive, golden waterproof. I need waterproof piping. That's why. I was wondering why there wasn't any milk in it. Okay, so as you can see, the liquid transposer from the thermal expansion mod actually puts the milk into the pipe. You don't need to put, set up a, a wooden pipe and, a, and an engine pull the milk out of the transposer it just does it automatically so there we go we have a milk system and I'm also noticing that this cow is providing a nearly endless supply of milk I have yet to see this cow actually run out of milk <laughs> or the other cow so I was originally planning on having a full array of cows or a way to cycle the cows around using Armitage's uh, cowscade machine, but there doesn't seem to be a need for it. This single cow is producing more than enough milk to fill these tanks pretty, pretty well. So let's see if I can actually use the tank to get milk. It appears to be. Okay, now I'm in. Yeah, okay. So you can right click on the tanks and get milk out of them, which is pretty nice. And then stick it back in. Um, another use for this is in an automated cake making machine. This would be just the first step. The next thing you'd want to do is set up an automated chicken egg collector and an automated wheat farm. Uh, I should be I may be demonstrating some of those machines later on. So check back later. This is one wolf saying thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Mm. Mer. Mer.